What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Entertainment. You know, it kind of dawned on me the other day that I've never did, I've never done a park update here at Knott's Berry Farm. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little park update. We're gonna check out Camp Snoopy. Since that is uh, pretty much under refurbishment, about half the land is under refurbishment. So, uh, yeah, if you guys kind of like these videos, if you guys like these videos, I should say, please hit that thumbs up. Well, let me know that you guys want to see more updates like this on this channel. Let's get started, guys. We're here right as the park opens at, what, 10 a.m.? Um, yeah. when, when did this bakery become so popular? I mean... It's in the morning. It's a it's not a holiday, but it's Charlie Brown Day, and the special foods are in there. That's right. Holly, do you want to show us the button that we got when we got into the park? Oh, you're wearing a Charlie Brown Day. So happens to be Super Bowl Sunday too, huh? All right, guys, first things first, we're gonna get over to the pig pens and check out the newest additions to Knott's Berry Farm. That's right, Knott's Berry Farm has new piglets. Uh, their names are Petunia, Bullet, Ryder, and Calico. And that's them there on the screen now. Let's get a closer look. First of the day. And here at the town hall, you can have a meet and greet with Franklin and discover his importance to history and pop culture. Meet Franklin every 30 minutes up until 5.30 p.m. every day of the Peanuts celebration. In addition to the meet and greet, they got this awesome little light board with uh, uh, looks like some paper and pencils and you can trace out your favorite comic book characters from, of course, Charlie Brown and kind of create your own story. This is a pretty cool little thing to do, especially with your kids. Here's something that isn't open all the time. Built by a group of Iowa farmers who settled in central Kansas near whatever that name is. Oh, I think they are. I think they've let go of any scruples they have about. It. Normally, we have a code of conduct involved in the train, you know. Uh -huh. I think we, as the citizens of Calico and Memphis and Bandits, we have an understanding that as long as they only stick to the train, mm -hmm. we don't try to get them arrested for nothing. Well, now the sheriff is out of town, still looking for our mayor. Yeah. And well, with her out of the picture, and with the train down, out. the bandits are free to do this. I don't, I don't know. I think the other bandits wisely chose to leave town for a little bit oh, you're fine. to make sure they didn't stir up any trouble. But Mad Dog and Tumbleweed, Check this out, guys. over them, and here they are. Check this out. This is what teachers mean. I haven't seen the Mayfield in that. Well, considering Tumbleweed is a Mayfield. And I was back in... Who knows what? It could also be an uncanny resemblance. Man, that's a... Uh, that's nothing almost. Alright, so when you guys come here, I'm not sure how many people really know about this, but you come in to the cemetery, you'll pass the first four, and you'll come to this one. And you can kind of see where you gotta stand. It looks like it's like a top of a barrel. We're obviously not supposed to see it, but you stand there, you can feel a heartbeat. Here are some of the merit badges you can get each month leading up to the debut of the reimagined Camp Snoopy. 
I believe you follow them on their social media. They will tell you which day. I believe it is only one day a month. One day out of the month, you'll get one of these uh, merit badges. Very cool. And this is what's left of the Ferris wheel, guys. The Ferris wheel is gone. The only thing that's left is the uh, support beams, which you guys can see here through a uh, very wide opening in the fence that surrounds uh, what used to be the Ferris wheel. Here is one of the attractions that is open in Camp Snoopy during the remodel. It's Pig Pins Mud Buggies. Yeah, it looks like they're testing it because there's a small line and no kids riding these things. Believe it or not, guys, I see adults in these things sometimes. And here is another ride that is open Camp Snoopy during the remodel. The River Rapids ride. This is a cool little ride. I do this ride with my kids. And Charlie Brown's Kite Flyers is still open during the refurb, remodel. Uh, this is a cool little ride that you can choose to do with your children or not. And while we're checking out Camp Snoopy, doesn't look like any progress has been made on uh, Montezuma's Revenge. Been hearing a lot of rumors about this being taken out as well. Doesn't look very good for uh, Montezuma's revenge. Unfortunately, I'm sure it's seen its last ride. And the Linus Launcher. This is a fun little ride that both kids and adults can ride. But uh, this is still open during the remodel. Hopefully this one doesn't go anywhere anytime soon. It's a cool little ride that I enjoy riding with my kids as well. And the balloon race is open. It's a cool little ride. Again, another one both kids and adults can enjoy. Now the funny thing about Knott's Berry Farm is their rides, you know, that are like this seem to go a little bit longer than you know, other said theme parks. But for some reason, this one's a little short for me. This one doesn't go as long as some of the others. It's already about halfway done, I believe. But the balloon race is pretty cool. And the Flying Aces airplane ride is available for children uh, however, there is a minimum height requirement of 32 inches and somewhere along the line there's a maximum height requirement as well because my 11 year old is already too tall to get on this ride. So go figure that one. the log ride is still closed here on Super Bowl Sunday it's completely drained no signs of it opening anytime soon yep all right guys that's gonna do it for this video however I have a lot of other videos here on the channel if you guys want to check those out YouTube is gonna suggest something here on the screen next if you guys enjoyed this park update and you want to see more park updates here on the channel from Knott's Berry Farm, let me know down in the comments. Also by liking the video. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.